Hello, my crafty friends. I'm so glad you could stop by Cards TV today. This is Mary, and we're going to make a quick Valentine. We'll be using the Cricut Sweethearts cartridge, the Cricut Elegant Edges cartridge. Our papers will come from this Lola and Luca paper pad, and this is from Hobby Lobby, the paper studio. Love this stack. It's got some cute ones in there. And for our sentiment, we'll use one of my Cards TV stamp sets. This one's called Heart to Heart. There's everything about love on here and romance. Rain or shine, so glad you're mine. You hold the key to my heart, and that's the one we're going to use today. Every day I love you more. I love you to the moon and back. You're my everything. Endless love. My heart, my love, forever yours. Heart to heart. I love you with all my heart. You sweep me off my feet. I'm crazy in love with you. More than words can say. My one and only you. And God gave me you. So I'll get this out of the way and we'll get started on our Valentine. We're going to start with a white card base. This is four and a quarter by five and a half when it's folded. And on top of that, I'm going to adhere a red mat, which is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. It's kind of a burgundy red. And this paper, this black and white, is from that Lola and Luca paper pad. And this is four by five and a quarter. I'm going to adhere these two together, but I'm not going to put it on the card front just yet because we're going to attach some ribbon down here at the bottom. So I'll just take my... ATG adhesive and get these two adhered together. I've got my two papers adhered together and I'm going to make a ribbon slide to go down here at the bottom for my sentiment. So I'm using this black and white grow grain ribbon and for the slide I cut a piece of white cardstock at three quarters of an inch by two and a quarter inches and I've punched a hole in either end with my We Are Memory Keepers uh, eyelet setter hole punch and I used the large hole on there and I just came in kinda eyeballed it and centered it from side to side and punched a hole on either end. I'm gonna stamp my sentiment right here in the center and then thread the ribbon through and attach this to the front. So we're gonna go ahead and get the sentiment stamped on here and I used You Hold the Key to My Heart from the Cards TV Heart to Heart set. I've already got it on my Fisker stamp press. And we're going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And we're just going to stamp this right in between those two holes that I punched. I love this stamp press. A uh, few of you have asked me if this is the large stamp press or the small and this is the small one and I couldn't find it at Michaels or Joann's so I ordered it from Amazon and I love 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 it okay I've got it centered there we go making our own slide and now we can thread our ribbon through here and get this attached to the front of the card. Go down in that side and come up on this side. And I'm going to put some adhesive on the back and get this attached right about there and wrap these ends around to the back and then we can put this on the front of our card. I think that's just about where I want my sentiment and I've got it attached with the ATG adhesive but I'm going to add a little piece of tape just to make sure this doesn't move until I get it on the front of my card and the ATG will glide right over that. Now we can go ahead and get this put on the front of our card. There we go. Now to keep my sentiment from moving around, I've put a glue dot under there. And that'll just keep it right there where I want it. Now from the Sweethearts cartridge, 
I wanted to cut this lock and key since our sentiment is you hold the key to my heart and I've cut these out of red and gray and I cut these at two inches and here they are there's the lock and here's the key and you can see it's got the gray base and then the red heart that goes at the top of the key and this red part goes on the top of the lock and I ran this red part through the Cuddlebug Swiss Dots embossing folder to give it some texture and dimension. I'm going to go ahead and get these adhered together and I've got a Wink of Stella silver pen that I'm going to go over the gray parts with just to give them some glitter and make it really look like a lock and key. And I'm going to take my two-way glue pen and get these adhered together. I've got my lock and key adhered together and I've got some scratch paper down so I don't get it on my mat and I'm just going to go ahead and start brushing this silver glittery pen over the gray parts just to give it a look of metal and a little bit of bling for the front of the card. I love these Wink of Stella pens. and they dry pretty quickly. So we can go ahead when I'm done and get these on the front. Can you see that? Just a little bit of glitter and shine. I got my lock and my key all finished and they're nice and glittery and I wanted a mat to put these on so I went to the Elegant Edges cartridge and on page 25 I cut a white mat at three and three quarter inches and this is swirl one and I cut a red mat at three and three quarter inches from the shadow here they are I'm going to adhere these together and put these on some foam tape on the front and you can see I ran the white mat through this Cuddlebug Hugs and Kisses folder. I just love that one. Then I'm going to pop my little lock up on some foam tape right there. The key is going to go here and we need a little bit more red down there. So I've cut another little heart which I ran through the Swiss Dots embossing folder. It's going to go right there and I just put the tape at the top and bottom so it can go across the ribbon and that little heart is also in the Sweethearts cartridge on page 35 and it's actually cut on blackout right there and I cut that at one inch so I'm gonna get all this adhered to the front we'll come back and take a look at this finished Valentine here's my finished Valentine and I think it turned out really cute and I love the little bit of glitter and bling on there from that Wink of Stella silver glitter pen if you'd like to recreate this card, all the measurements and the Cricut cartridges I used and all the supplies will be listed at the end of the video. Thank you so much for stopping by and for always being so sweet and leaving me such nice comments. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon with another card. Bye now.